Hi, I'm Jason Webster, Beck Cybert's Practical Farm Research Innovation Lead. Today we're doing some practical farm research work involving soil fertility. Now every grower needs to have a really sound soil fertility program for each and every farm. And basically the base or the foundation of that soil fertility program starts right here in the field pulling soil samples. Now in the past, traditional soil sampling has involved a device like this, a soil probe where we basically go from grid to grid out in the field and then we press this soil probe in the ground and we collect our samples. One of the things that we're doing in our PFR program is evaluating that style of soil testing versus maybe some different ways, maybe some alternative ways that could offer some better ways to get soil sample results. That way we can end up with a really good soil fertility program. We can get very good pH values measuring that acidity of the soil. We can find out what kind of phosphorus, potassium, micronutrients, macronutrients, um, not only checking the availability or where those levels are at, but the balance of the nutrients. So the, the accuracy of that test, the validity of that test, all starts with the sampling in the field. And one of the things that we're wondering is, is there a better way to soil test? Farmers argue about this all the time, what's the best way to soil test? So we thought what we do is we put together a trial this year focused in Iowa and Missouri to offer some practical farm research in those states, some new states in, uh, as part of our marketing area, and start looking at some soil fertility trials. You know, looking at the hand probe versus maybe some newer, newer uh, equipment, new technology. And one of those new pieces of technology is the auto probe. From auto probe technologies, this is going to be an automated device where as we travel through the field, this belt will turn and this probe will cycle around and automatically take the same depth of a soil core as we're traveling through the field. This thing is pretty neat because basically as it travels through the field we're going to collect a, a very uh, small diameter soil sample core every eight and a half feet. So think about it, you know, pulling samples this way, we're going to make grids for example. Two and a half acre grid is going to be 330 by 330 square and we're just going to put an X in the middle of that square and go out and pull the samples. With this auto probe, we're going to drive through that 330 by 330 foot square, but we're going to be pulling samples all the way through it. So think of it as small pencil size uh, soil cores, taking it every eight and a half feet all the way through that grid or, 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 or zones. We can do it either way, grid or zones. Okay, this auto probe will work in both scenarios. So we're going to put this to the test. We're going to look at five acre grids, two and a half acre grids, and one and a quarter acre grids and compare it to maybe some zone sampling. But we're going to find out what frequency offers us the most accurate results. And then we'll find out how hand sampling, the old traditional sampling, compares to the auto probe. We can't wait to bring you the results of this soil fertility study. We'll bring it all to you in Beck's Practical Farm Research book. We'll publish it later on this fall after harvest once we can make all of our calculations. We can't wait to bring it to you. Stay tuned for more details.